Welcome to the tutorial on the process to incorporate source water protection into your comprehensive plan. Source water refers to water from streams, rivers, lakes, or underground aquifers that is used for drinking. Source water protection is a community effort to prevent water pollution before it can reach our kitchen faucets and other users. By stopping groundwater pollution near a well or surface water intake, we are protecting our drinking water from contamination. Much can be done to prevent pollution, such as the wise use of land and safe disposal of chemicals. Public health is protected and the expense of treating polluted water or building new infrastructure is avoided. The Minnesota Department of Health is the primary agency responsible for administering the source water protection requirements of the Federal Safe Drinking Water Act. There are three primary parts to Minnesota's source water protection program. Wellhead protection, protection of surface water intakes, and support for implementation activities. More information is available through the Minnesota Department of Health website. There are over 100 public water suppliers in the Twin Cities metropolitan area. The sources for these water supplies are often shared by more than one community. To illustrate how community land use can affect shared water supplies, let's look at an example in the central metro. This part of the metro has a variety of land uses that may affect groundwater, such as soil contamination cleanup or stormwater treatment and infiltration. In this area, groundwater is captured by wells in the city of Richfield. Wells in the city of Edina capture groundwater here. In this area, groundwater is captured by wells in the city of Bloomington. And in this area, the city of St. Louis Park wells capture groundwater. Because land use planning in your community may affect your own and your neighbor's water supplies, as you develop your comprehensive plan, Include drinking water supply management area maps for all communities, not just your own. Pay close attention to areas where groundwater is most vulnerable. Also include the map of the Minneapolis and St. Paul surface water source water protection area if it overlaps your community. Evaluate existing and future land uses throughout the entire drinking water supply management area. Is land being used in a way that reduces the risk of contaminating groundwater or surface water intakes? particularly where the drinking water supply is most vulnerable? With this information in mind, identify local controls and other planning tools that can be used in your community to protect drinking water resources. Protecting source water areas is an important part of every community's planning. An example of a new approach to source water protection can be found in Burnsville. In 2015, they adopted a drinking water protection overlay district. Throughout this process, the city worked closely with property owners and concerned citizens, and they continue to solicit feedback from businesses and others about this new program. If your community is planning to expand water supplies to meet growing demand, consider the locations and plans for new well sites. For example, don't zone areas near future wells for industry or other uses with a high number of potential contaminant sources. Identify all community and non-community drinking water wells such as schools or mobile home parks in your jurisdiction that have no land use control authority and guide land use appropriately. The Minnesota Department of Health and the Minnesota Rural Water Association have many resources to support source water protection. Department of Health and Metropolitan Council staff are also available to provide more information. For questions about the source water protection program, contact your Department of Health source water protection planner or hydrologist. For local comprehensive plan submittal questions, contact Metropolitan Council planning staff. Thank you for your time watching this tutorial. For more online tutorials and other resources, please check the Planet page of the Local Planning Handbook.